don't need us to tell you this winter we've had more than our fair share of wet weather. December and January saw more than twice the average amount of rainfall and that's been bad news for the region's rail network. Well, work to restore services at High Brooms between Tunbridge and Tunbridge Wells has been going on in all weathers, as Tony Green found out. Engineers have been here at High Brooms since the 1st of February, a landslip on the 160-year-old cutting closing the line between Tunbridge and Tunbridge Wells. We're removing about 5,000 tonnes of material. That's gone away in four trains. Uh, we're laying down about 3,250 metres squared of rockfall netting. And there's about 1,000 soil nails and ground anchors being installed as well. So quite massive engineering works, and that will stabilise this particular location. It's not just the weather that made the region's rail network at risk of landslips this winter, it's the geology. It's uh, Wadhurst clay overlying ashdown beds. Uh, the Wadhurst clay is particularly unstable. We know that the Victorian engineers excavated it uh, about 40 degrees. Uh, we're regrading it, as you can see behind me, to about 32 degrees, so that should make it a lot more stable. The latest landslip was picked up by sensors installed after two earlier slippages along the 150 metre stretch of track. Well, what we've actually done here, we've also taken the opportunity to extend the closure further down the line because there's another slip slight down near Roberts Bridge and we've taken the opportunity to get those works done whilst the line is shut but it's a complex site it's very rural access has been really challenging and obviously we've got the added challenge of the overhead lines here as well um, obviously we are carrying a lot less passengers at the moment due to the pandemic but obviously those that are travelling are hugely reliant on us because most of them will be key workers who need to get to their place of work. Small enough to work below the power lines, this specialist excavator cleared the last of the clay, the end of a multi-million pound operation to ensure the line reopens this weekend. Tony Green, ITV News, High Brooms.